You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Well, the world is anxiously awaiting the response from LeBron James over the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. A lot of people are now calling out LeBron. We're calling out LeBron. Where are you? Where are you, LeBron to James? Wuhan James. La China James. La Woke James. You've got an opinion about everything involving politics, social justice, maybe not China. You know, you have no opinion on that, it seems. But you have put yourselves in you have put yourself in the crosshairs of this Kyle Rittenhouse situation. When you took it upon yourself to make fun of a young man that had went through a traumatic situation on the stand the other day by tweeting out something that uh, that was in, you know, in my opinion, horrific. You tweeted out something, you made fun of a young man in a traumatic situation over a self defense situation. And you have gone strangely quiet. Well, now you are officially taking hits from all over the place. Two of them coming by way of Donald Trump Jr. and the great Candace Owens. They both called you out. Don Jr. flat called you out. Don Jr. waiting on LeBron's dumbest shit opinion on Kyle Rittenhouse. And this is what LeBron has done to himself. Does anybody have a more fragile ego than LeBron James. I mean, really? And we know where LeBron stands because we all remember this uh, interview he had a while back where basically come out and said he hates white people. Uh, so we know where he stands on that front, okay? He, him and Joy Reid are two racist peas in a pod. Well, here we go. Don Jr. called him out. And they go on to talk about uh, everything that Kyle Rittenhouse was charged with. We don't have to go into that because our subscribers are smart and they know this case inside and out. If he had been convicted, he could have got upwards of life in prison. Following the acquittal, Don Jr. took to Twitter to mock, to mock the L.A. Lakers star LeBron James. Patiently waiting for LeBron James' inevitable dumb as shit take on today's verdict. Rittenhouse, who was 17 at the time of the sh shooting, took the stand during the trial testifying he was acting in self-defense. Never wanted to kill anybody. Quote, I didn't do anything wrong. I defended myself, Rittenhouse said. He infamously broke down crying, which garnered the attention of LeBron who mocked him on Twitter. By the way, by the way, tough guy LeBron is what? 6'9", 268? What is he, about 38 years old now? That's a real tough guy now, isn't it? Real tough. Uh, but nonetheless, LeBron went on there and mocked and made fun of Kyle Rittenhouse. So now... He has put himself in the crosshairs of everybody, including us, including Sports Wars. Everybody wants to know how LeBron James feels. Now Donald Trump Jr., we're all waiting. We're waiting. I mean, at this point, LeBron James is Scooby-Doo. Where the F are you? And I noticed, I went and looked before I made this video, you haven't said anything yet on this case. You haven't said a damn word. You're, I mean, you're, you're, you're surely going to. So, the great Candace Owens, who we have chronicled many times on this channel, has come out and destroyed LeBron James in the past. Absolutely obliterated him, eviscerated him. She tweeted something out, and she didn't even need any words to absolutely, completely and utterly destroyed LeBron James when it comes to this issue. She simply put this tweet out. It is a picture of Kyle Rittenhouse with a, uh, a pair of gloves on. I don't blame him, sanitizing gloves. Uh, you might not want to catch the uh, 
Wuhan virus, that is Wuhan James, uh, uh, with his uh, sanitizing gloves on, cleaning the tears with a rag and some, it looks like Mr. Clean uh, Lemon Cleaner, cleaning the tears of LeBron James. This is what LeBron James gets for having went after an 18-year-old on the stand. I'm sure he's suffering from PTSD. We're not talking about a kid here that was in the military. You're talking about somebody that went through a traumatic situation. Three guys came after him, and he had to, he had to defend himself. Really brave kid. I mean, unbelievably brave kid. Um, exactly the example of what uh, an American patriot is. And a coward like LeBron James went after him. And because LeBron James has such a track record with wanting to talk about everything but China, the human rights issues in China, now he is in the crosshairs of everybody because we're all waiting. Because with every day that goes by now, LeBron James is a GD coward for not saying anything. Now, for the record, whatever he was going to say, I'm sure was going to be, as Don Jr. said, dumb as shit. But you started this. You ran your mouth like a bully. You went after an 18-year-old, wanted to make fun of him, and now that it didn't go your way, you have disappeared. I'm sorry this isn't a basketball team where when things don't go your way, you can get the coach run off and trade away all the players on the team like you've done your entire career. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Where, LeBron James, where are you? Scooby-Doo, where are you? Where are you, LeBron James? Is, is Shaggy somewhere and you're wrapped up in his arms and you're looking like you're dumb as shit? Where are you, LaChina James? Candace Owens did not disappoint. And Don Jr. says what we're all thinking. LeBron. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.